everyone. Again, I'm Bill, and today's table of topics actually fits in really nicely, almost <coughs> exponentially, um, <coughs> with our small groups. And our favorite game to play here is called the Shark Tank. Who here knows what a Shark Tank is, right? Yeah, most of us. <coughs> if you don't know, it's a TV show where people come up here with an idea or a product or anything like that, and you sit, you present your project to a group of really, really rich investors, and hopefully you can get one or maybe all of them to invest in what your product is. So today, we're going to play the game Shark Tank. Your job is to go into this bay. You have no idea what's in here. Only I know what's in here. You get five seconds to pick an item, and then you have to make a pitch to the room on why we should buy your item. And the person who does the best gets a really, really special prize. For those of you who don't know how to do a pitch, there are three main things that you want to hit in your pitch. First of all, you want to address a problem. Okay? So for example, I'll dig in this one and take the hardest one out. This is the item I have, Costco's annual report. Okay? Your problem in this circumstance may be does anyone have a lot of money and they want to invest it so they can make even more money? That's the problem. The second part of the pitch is presenting your product. I have for you today, on this exclusive offer, Costco's annual report. Not only does Costco stock cost $140, but we've also shown some significant growth throughout the last 10 years. And you are guaranteed to get your money back. That's addressing the problem. And then finally, you want to be just actually I combined it. You want to see how your product solves that problem. I want you to invest all of your money in Costco stock so you can get even more. Make sense? Really, really easy to do. It's fun. Who wants to do a Shark Tank pitch? I'll go. Woo! You ready for this? You get three seconds to look. I want to close my eyes. And then you have to go for it. Again, you want to shoot for one to two minutes on this pitch. Hey, problem solvers out there. I know you need a problem to solve. You sit around in class and you don't know what to do with yourself because you are so bored. I have the answer for you. You can now keep your fingers occupied. You can, you can listen to that professor in class, and you can just twiddle with this lovely Rubik's Cube, and you can figure it out while your brain still keeps on working and listening, and you can enhance your brain skills by using this Rubik's Cube. You need this in your life. Look at all these great colors on it. I mean, come on, and it's pretty quiet, too, so you're not going to distract class. It's a great activity just to, look, I already made a yellow line. We're already getting there. <laughs> this is such a great product for you all. You need this. You need to make your brain skills. I don't know if that's the right word. I don't know. But, you know, it'll make you better. It'll make you smarter. You'll be a little bit less bored in that terrible business statistics class that everybody just loves. You'll have this. It's a little bit educational. It's honestly the best product you'll ever get because it's an amazing Rubik's Cube. Okay. <laughs> Great pitch, Veronica. Great pitch. <laughs> Who else is brave enough to enter the Shark Tank? Or Bella's Bay? Perfect. I was hoping you'd say that. And to avoid this problem of awkward silence, I've invented the magical coin system. Lucas, head or tails? Uh, tails. Heads, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> Again, three seconds for a one to two minute pitch. Ready? Set. One, two, three. Okay, so <coughs> so who suffers from a lack of creativity in their life? I know I definitely do. <laughs> I have no creativity whatsoever, which is why I use Crayola crayons because there's so many colors. There's 24 different colors. I get to draw any picture I can imagine, and it's amazing. I think you should all use Crayola um, crayons because it's preferred by teachers. It's got a little check mark by there. <laughs> it's preferred by teachers, and you can really get that creativity out that you're that you're feeling that you're you're feeling throughout your bones, your your uh, your fingers. Um, it's not just the kids' problem. 
Most people think that crayons are just for kids, but this is for adults too. If you're adulting, you can use some crayons. You know, if you're doing taxes, you can use you can use these crayons for your taxes. So buy Crayola and do some taxes with some creativity. I love your creativity, especially from the town. Alright. Who's up? Oh, volunteer? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Alright, three seconds. Ready? I know you want. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. You might think these are sunglasses, but they're baby glasses. <laughs> as soon as you put these sky blue on it, you're suddenly from a dud to a stud. <laughs> look, already, I look better and cooler. Not just that, but this is also a great deflector for creeps. <laughs> See, if anybody approaches you and you don't want to talk to them, suddenly they're not there. <laughs> they're really not. You don't have to look at them. You can judge them. <laughs> These are magical. And you know what's even better? So you have to wait there until the flags come back from the other side. You know those little safety flags? That, you know, when you cross the other street? Yeah. They're on the other side, so you can't cross. So what do you do? From your back pocket, you whip out the vest, you put it on, all the cars will stop for you, call the cops, and they'll probably arrest you because you're drunk. <laughs> part-time car pusher at Costco, and trust me, cars do not stop. <laughs> what was the purpose of this event? Not only was it really fun, but throughout our business career, and it doesn't matter if you're going into business or healthcare or anything like that, you will have face, you will approach a time where you have to give an elevator pitch based on something that you're doing. It doesn't matter if it's your innovative idea that you want to start a new company with, or if it's your job that's on the line and you have to talk to your boss 
in 60 seconds what you've been doing for the last three months and why it hasn't been typed up in a report on his desk. Things like this will happen to you, and if you are able to give a 60 second pitch on a three second item, like a Rubik's Cube, I promise you, you will be able to give a pitch on something that you are truly passionate about. Other than that, I'm going to turn it back over to Ali. Woo! Woo! Right. Who, who's was the best? Any, any takers? Veronica? Shannon? Shannon. Lucas? Shannon. Lucas? Shannon. Lucas? Oh, all right. I heard Rubik's Cube sunglasses, yeah? Raise your hand if you wanted the Rubik's Cube. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Sunglasses. All right, sunglasses. But Shannon, congratulations. You get the coin that I call people up with. Oh. 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 I love it.